Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. We are going to do an unboxing of the 78 Tarot, the Elemental deck. We did uh, the Mythical last Monday, so today we're doing this one. And this came out in 2019. So later this year, though, we'll come out with another one for 2020. Let's get out of this bubble. These cards are truly beautiful. It's like having a museum in the palm of your hand. They're done by 81 different art artists. Because there's three extra cards. Let's do it over here. And the box is really nice, very secure. And this is like uh, one of those magnet boxes. Oh yes, they're all they're gilded. The last two years have been gilded. I love that. Oh, and look at this box. The other one had this also inside over here. It had a bad, but the artist signatures. Isn't that very cool? So let's get this. I'm going to have to cut this because I am not finding that little okay I got it wonderful scissors see that gold gilding it's just beautiful perfectly done each card it has gold all over the back this is the cloth that came with the uh, mythical or, yeah, the mythical. Take a quick look at the uh, book. Introduction, meditation card, wild cards, major arcana, the, each suit. Three card uh, spread. The elemental soul spread. I'll pause here for a second so you can pause and read it. Elemental check-in spread. Playful dolphin spread. How sweet. Ever-present elephant spread. Ominous owl spread. Sizzling salamander spread. Oh, and the pictures are in color. Love that. Oh. Okay, so that's what the book's like. Let's take a look at the, each of the cards. Okay. Each card has, you know, what it is and who did it. The artist, Tiffany Tolan Scott. So this is meditation. Who does it feel like... Sorry, I have three dogs. 
and Princess has been barking all morning. Everybody feels like meditating at the beach. Princess, I said leave it. Thank you. Chakra healer. I think that little kitty makes my chakras feel all in balance. Oh, it's so sweet with those big eyes. Spirit. Luca Federici Carey. Very beautiful artwork. They're all different artworks, art styles. This is a lot of the fun of this deck. The magician. She looks like she is very in charge of her manifestation powers. She's very in touch with who she is. The high priestess. We've got the Boaz and the Yakim and the moon here. In the book, usually it's a scroll for the Torah. Princess, leave it. Sorry, everybody. She is very talkative today. The Empress, the ultimate mother of creating everything, Mother Nature, the Emperor. Isn't that just gorgeous artwork? Oh, I love this dragon for the Hierophant. The lovers. The chariot. She looks like a mermaid or something. I think she's a mermaid. Driving her underwater chariot. Justice. Truth, love, justice. I like this death card. Underwater, you can see through the skin. Oh, and above the water, her hair is even short. Underwater, her hair keeps continuing. The transformation. Always changing. Nobody stands still. No matter how hard they may try. The hermit. Awesome. We've got a crone here being the hermit. Get in touch. The wheel. Very beautiful wheel. Strength. Huge lion. And she's very connected with that lion. They're totally at peace with each other. Hanged man. Many different layers to this hanged man. Temperance. The devil, Jasmine Becca Smith. She, she had a card in the other one, too. I'm sure a lot of these had ca cards in the other ones, too. The tower. Her neck is the tower. Like all that chaos and trouble and upheaval.
the star. And looks, she's got water coming out of this jug. And she's like comforted in her hair where also the stars are. Ooh, she made the monster uh, deck. The moon. And we have a crab here instead of a lobster or crawfish. I can never tell between those two. The sun. Look at all those beautiful sunflowers. And this woman looks like she is feeling good. She's feeling bliss. Judgment, rebirth. The world. Truly beautiful artwork. Ace of Earth. So that would be pentacles. Here he is, the lion balancing his resources. Here's these three girls socializing with each other. Or actually this is not socializing, well they're together, but they're teamwork. It looks like uh, the craft. Yes, they are working on magic together. They're levitating. It's like when they put their fingers, their two fingers on each hand under the girl and said, stiff as a f board, light as a feather. Stiff as a board, light as a feather. Until she was lifted up off the ground. It's like what it looks like they're doing with their apples. And it's working. Four of Pentacles, saving her resources. She's not hoarding them. She's just budgeting. Five of pentacles. Five of earth. This, there's no isolation. They're all together. They're working together. Maybe a little bit of lean times. She's fixed his broken paw, back paw. Six of Pentacles, the exchanging of resources, sharing. Seven, planting your seeds and waiting patiently for the, your harvest to up, reap, to grow. It will be plentiful. You just have to be patient. Definitely not a right now card. Eight of earth or pentacles. This is getting mastering your skill. You are getting really good. You have saved up your finances to get to this point. This one, the next card. You can actually take a break and relax and enjoy the luxury. We even got the home in the background. This, this is the ultimate. You have the resource for retirement. Or inheritance. Whatever. You've got the resources. And you've got the family you want. This guy seems to want to, to be a solitary family member. But you can do that. Page of Earth. This kid is excited to start his paper route. Or maybe he's picking apples. The Knight. Look at him on his dragon. I think he's consulting his dragon. He always thinks through, things through. Never rushes in. 
the queen, she can handle everything. She can bring home the money. She can take care of the house, the kids. She's just very good at balancing everything. And he's very good at starting and creating very successful businesses, empires. And this one, he looks very in touch, in tune, and grounded. Ace of Swords. New way of looking at things. This is a cool uh, Two of Swords. She's still blindfolded. Still got the indecision. But she's flying up in the air and is coming down. Instead of sitting on a rock. Three of Air. Some hurt, seriously hurt feelings. Look, we got the lights going through and his uh, horns make the heart. But it's only a temporary thing. Four of air. Him and his Pegasus need to re rest and recuperate. They're so sweet. He's resting on his Pegasus. He looks very cozy there, actually. Five of air. Always conflict and tension. Man, look, she's been through the ringer. She has gone to war. And she has come out the winner, but with a lot of scrapes and cuts. And she's got all five swords. Well, three are right next to her with the skulls on them of the opponents. Six of air. Usually this is in a boat leaving troubled waters, going to smooth waters. She's leaving a darker part going into the sun. Seven. Dishonesty. This bird there looks, looks pretty stealth about it. But it looks like he's having a hard trouble hanging on to that one. Eight of swords in air. She does look like she's having a hard time breathing with those feathers through her nose and them coming out of her mouth. This is about a card about being feeling trapped, but you can get out of it. All you have to do is breathe, relax, and use your mind. Don't panic. Nine of swords, air, nightmares, anxiety. Uh, ten of air, ten of swords, betrayals, stabbed in the back. Whatever the, the kind of relationship, work, love, whatever, it is over. You don't want to deal with that person anymore. Page of air. This is Paige is a female and she looks very powerful. Or she feel, looks like she feels very powerful. And excited with her new thoughts. And go learn more about them. The night. Usually he's very, okay, here we go down. I was going to say it's very hasty and there's all these winds and dark clouds. And you can see the wind blowing, the trees blowing, the hair of the, the horse. Here we can see it. It's very kind of stressful. The queen. She looks like she's up to something in this card. I like this. A lot of times you see her as a very cold person. She's not always cold. She's very warm to those she knows and really cares about. The king. 
He kind of looks like Jason Momoa from Aquaman and from Game of Thrones. You have to say, what is the card stuck to it? Ace of Wands, fire. We got a hand coming out of a dark cloud, holding the wand in fire flames. New inspiration. The planning phase. Three, waiting to see some ships come in, some action happening. Four of Wands. It's usually celebration or engagement, wedding, home. But we can see the Four Wands. She is celebrating with these birds and her crystal ball. Five of Fire. Five of Wands. Look, these two... We don't see these five, but we see these two fighting over this one stick, these foxes. When one could just say, you take that one, I'm going to go get one from over there. Just wanting to fight. Six, the victor card. She's riding in town with her laurel wreath on. Her wand held high, and she's like, I am victorious. Here she is setting her boundaries, protecting her position. It's horrible that she has to do it in her bedroom. Eight. These eight wands are traveling through the Bermuda Triangle. That's just what I see when I look at this one. It's all crazy. Oh, very beautiful. Nine of wands. She looks a little tired, but not very beat up. Not at all. But she is still standing through her journey. Ten of fire. This bird is carrying all ten wands. It's lucky he's just got, they're all on the stick, making it easier to carry. But you don't have to do everything all at once. You can dole out responsibilities or do it later. Do what's really important right now. Ace of, or not ace, page of fire. I always think of this as a young man getting his first kiss and getting way too excited. Knight of Wands. Serious action card. He is just running. To, he's going to run to that castle and he's just making flames as he goes. Queen of Fire of Wands. I don't see her black cat. She looks very calm. She's always very happy to be with people. The king. Oh, look at his lizard. I haven't seen one like that. And look, he's wearing tennis shoes and jeans. Very contemporary king. Ace of Cups. And it looks like Aphrodite or the Venus coming out of the water. Beautiful. Full of love. Romance. Mer romance. Mer people. You, it can be a partnership, a business partnership, but this looks like a love partnership. Very cool. Look totally suited for each other. Three of water. Three friends getting together and socializing. 
they actually look like they're going to do some magic together. She's got the sage smudging the area clean. She's got the crystal and she's got some herbs and flowers. Very cool. Four waters getting grounded. This mermaid is grounding herself. Five of waters. She's upset. We see the three, we see two cups falling in. We should see two cups standing up. Oh, look at that boat in these waves off in the distance. I'm not seeing the standing uh, cups, but there's always two cups, at least two cups standing up saying, don't cry over spilled milk. Not everything's lost. Six of water. Nostalgia, memories. Oh, look, this mermaid is creating magic with this load, uh, flower in the water and sharing with this little mermaid. Creating happy times. Seven of water of cups. All these choices, look how excited she looks. I could play with a fox, I could play with that fish. Oh, I wanna play, wear that crown. I, I wanna play with that dummy or ventriloquism doll thing. I wanna play with a frog. Oh, look, he's holding a 78 tarot coin. The chess piece, oh, I want a dragon. Eight of water. This is when you have been dealing with everything. You have worked through everything. There is no fixing things. It's just time to move on. Don't beat your head on the rock or the wall. You can't change some things. You can't fix everything. Nine of cups. He is very satisfied. He's not being gluttonous. He's feeling very just content. Ten of cups of water. She's got calla, calla lilies for her um, cups. And hummingbirds. She's got her perfect home, her perfect family with these uh, hummingbirds. And she, I guess she doesn't want to have a a husband or a wife or children. She's got her hummingbirds. That looks like her perfect family. Oh, I like this picture. Page of water. Look how sweet he's, that kitty looks like I'm gonna make some magic. Knight of cups, our water. Prince Charming, he is smooth and he just feels like giving you love. He wants to charm your pants off. That's, yes, that's what I think of him. Most people see him as very romantic, but I, I don't know. He kind of gives me the, I want to charm your pants off. Queen of Water. Oh, look at these corals. Very cool. Her heart is always full and ready to give to her partner or start a new romance if she needs a new one. And he is the ultimate king. He is there for his people. He's willing to sit there and truly listen, give advice, or just give them the shoulder to lean on that they need. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's give it a shuffle and pull a card. I'm shuffling like these these days because I have taped a lot of cards where little bits of images come off. So I just don't want that happening to my cards anymore. I want them to last. Riffle shuffling just destroys them.
can't pick up the book. Seven of water. So let's find that in here. Artist interpretation. Nothing seems to represent our modern day life like the seven of water. We are surrounded by choices and temptations and promising us happiness, fulfillment, real riches, and success. Not everything is as it may seem, and what seems to be a dream come true can turn into a curse. My little mermaid is young and innocent, and as all these options swirl around her, which she reaches will reach. Which will she reach for? The Card's Message by Trish Sullivan. Dreams swim before her, a never-ending stream of temptation that she reaches for but never grabs. What lies in the depths waiting for her? If she does leave her perch, what dangers may these fantasies hold in reality? So many choices out there just waiting for you. It can be tempting to dive into these fantasies. So much nicer to have options than to be stuck following someone else's dreams. But it is easy to get lost in the sea of what ifs. Unforeseen dangers of drowning in ideas and plans, brainstorming precious time away. Those dreams are nothing if you don't grab one and bring it to life. Give yourself time to decide, but then make sure that you act on it before you change. Your chance just floats away. I really like that because I always see you've got to make a choice because you don't want the you don't the world to make the choice for you and you don't want to follow someone else and you do want to choose wisely you don't want to like go choose a dragon and have him breathe on you once and burn you to shreds and crisp so I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing today and I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and enjoying this time and take care give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe thank you everybody bye